I'm trying a little bit of an experiment here, and I wish I'd filmed the beginning of it, but I didn't, like an idiot. I took a whole bunch of uh, plastic RAM chips that uh, came off of the, uh, the, the memory sims I've been processing for, for gold. Um, most of the gold I got came from the fingers, but there was, uh, there was some, some gold plating on them. And a lot of the RAM chips have gold in them too. And the RAM chips came off in the, in the hydrochloric acid and peroxide solution I used to get the gold off. And they sort of settled to the bottom. And, um, you know, I cleaned all the gold off of them that I could see, but there's still gold in them. So what I did was I took a whole bunch of them, plastic RAM chips, and I put them in my foundry. And I don't know if it's going to show. Put them in a crucible and put them in my metal melting foundry. And uh, they are heated up to about orange heat now and uh, totally pyrolyzed. All the, or all the organic and volatile materials have been pyrolyzed out of them. So I'm going to turn the heat off. Turn the gas off here and start it cooling down. Let me get the lid off and give you a look at it. So there it is. Still glowing orange. Ooh, that's hot. I'm gonna melt my phone. So I'm gonna let this cool down. Everything's been thoroughly pyrolyzed. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crush those up in my uh, ore crusher. I have an ore crusher. And I'm gonna crush that up into a fine powder. Um, use a magnet to separate out any iron or steel that's in it and then see how much gold I can get out of it. And I haven't decided yet whether I'm gonna try panning it or use aqua regia on it. So, I mean, panic is, panning is kind of instant gratification. You'll see the gold right away, but I don't know if you'll get it all. With the aqua regia, you know, I can be pretty certain I've dissolved it all, so we'll see. Right now, it needs to cool down for a couple of hours so I can crush it up. All right. This stuff is finally cool enough to handle. The pyrolyzed uh, plastic RAM chips. Um, they're all white. All the black plastic's been burned away. Uh, the dye's sticking out of that one. That one started falling apart on its own already. And uh, here's, here's what a lot of them look like. They've still got these little metallic legs on them. Probably mostly base metal, but I'm sure there's some gold in there too. So, I'll put that back in there, put this back in there. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to crush them up in my ore crusher here. It's a little hand ore crusher. Um, I would highly recommend if you crush up uh, these chip, chips like this that you wear some uh, breathing protection because it produces a lot of really nasty dust. So, I'll uh, commence to crushing and what I'll do is I'll run them through probably a uh, 10 inch or 10, 10 to the inch sieve, and anything bigger than that will go back through the crusher again. So uh, make sure I get just a, a fine powder out of this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to treat it with aqua regia. I was going to think about panning it for the instant gratification of seeing the gold, but there's a lot of base metal in there that uh, really needs to be dissolved away. So what I'll do is um, I, will, uh, I will crush it, I'll use a magnet to remove any iron or steel, and then I will treat the resulting powder with aqua regia. And that should uh, get all of the gold and, and uh, any other precious metals in there out. Alright, hello YouTubers. Alright, some months ago I incinerated a bunch of uh, RAM chips in my foundry and crushed up the results sieved them I think to uh, minus 10 and put them in a plastic bag put the plastic bag in my shed with the intention of panning the stuff out and completely forgot about it for a few months cleaning out the shed yesterday I found the bag again and I thought oh I wonder if there's any gold in there well look at that there is quite a line of gold bond wires in the pan Here's a view of that line of gold taken with my homemade macro lens. Wow. Look at all those gold bond wires.
that is that's a, a quite a bit of gold from a very small amount of IC chips. So that's that's very encouraging. So I'm gonna have to uh, do this again. I'm gonna have to uh, incinerate me some more chips and uh, see if I can get the gold out. Now one takeaway from this is that I need to sieve it much finer because these gold wires they are really really fine. So probably I need to sieve it to minus 30 or even minus 40 and I'm sure I'll probably get all the gold wires through and leave behind a lot of this uh, crushed IC junk which uh, makes makes panning out this super fine gold difficult. So uh, yeah, so when I do it again I will I will crush it a little more thoroughly. I will sieve it much more thoroughly and uh, try panning out only only really fine stuff because uh, with classification separation is much easier that's that's kind of the uh, the gold panners mantra so but I, I'm very pleased with this result I had I was not expecting to get this much gold out of the few RAM chips I uh, I processed so this is a good thing and I will be doing more of the same in the future thanks for watching